on the air. He's just trash at Opie and Anthony. He was too scared to take us on. That's the fact. Just like you said, Robin was nice to you at the gym, but then they both trash you on the show. It's all show business. Robin from the Howard Stern show is another one. And more than, uh, I don't know, more than, I would say more than a few times I would see her in the neighborhood. And uh, and I walked with her uh, once or twice because we just happened to be at the same light. And I turned, I'm like, oh, that's Robin Corbett. Hey, Robin, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. And she was so lovely and so nice. And, and just uh, ch chatty. Um, and then like, eh, and then on the on the show, she has to follow Howard's lead when Howard used to, well, he never really trashed me and Anthony. He was, too, he was too scared to take us on. That's the fact. But when it did come up, oh, she was right in there fucking, uh, you know, following Howard's lead. I'm like, these people are a bunch of fucking phonies. Party Lang did the same thing, but we, we ended up working that out. Uh, but he said this, he did the same shit. Couldn't be nicer to me in the hallway because we know all the same people. And then on the air, he's just trash at Opie and Anthony. He was like uh, Howard's pit bull back in the day. But uh, to Artie's credit, you know, he started uh, doing my uh, my solo radio show and we really got along and he gave me a, a lot of great material. And we talked about that and we worked that out. So um, but I'm just bringing it up because of the. The whole world is filled with a bunch of fucking phonies. And then Artie went on to work with Anthony a, a bit as well. And, uh, you know, incredibly talented, really, really good guy. Has a really good soul, that Artie Lang.